what I gain out of this the most is thinking about how I think about history and in turn how my students will think about it. The wealth of materials that we are given here that we are able to look through and, and figure out which would work best mm -hmm. is, is incredible and it saves us time as planners. The development of ideas, the brainstorming, our experience here we bring back to the classroom. The kids can feel our energy because we're re-energized when we come here. So what we're going to start out by today is looking at the New Deal and this idea of federal response to crisis. The American Social History Project was founded in 1981 by the labor historians Steve Breyer and Herb Gutman. Their idea was to take all of the historical scholarship and research on labor history and social history that was going on in colleges and universities and try to get it out to a wider audience of union members and, and school children. We want to model one activity of how to analyze this letter. Um, using the graphic organizer and then in your groups you'll be choosing three others that you would use with your students. We're working primarily with teachers in New York City, mostly middle school and high school, and they all face a considerable amount of pressure to cover a lot of U.S. history in a short amount of time. July 3rd, 1934. My dear Mr. President, thank you many times for your One of the key elements of uh, what we do with teachers is social history. We want to introduce teachers to a variety of documents and materials that illuminate the experiences and the ideas and the actions of diverse Americans, the so-called ordinary Americans who, in fact, were having an influence on larger decisions. The government programs are eliminating private industry and effort, sounds just like today, and replacing it with government control. Well, that's the typical argument against welfare. Right, yeah. Right, is that like, right. oh, why, why should you work if you can collect a check every month and sit home? And One of the strategies that it's always taught uh, in reading, you know, literacy skills, is the idea of connecting it to yourself. And when you have these types of letters, they can make a better connection to themselves, and I think they internalize the information more. A lot of kids aren't into history, and they don't, they don't enjoy it. And uh, the only way to get them into it is to kind of show them, hey, this could be you. Put yourself in the shoes of the person that you are playing. There were so many opportunities for myself and my students to really be involved in something new and exciting. Ready? Free African American. Slave owning white. To watch the children empower themselves and say, oh no, let's look at this, but it says here. No, I disagree. Well, why do you disagree? Because it says over here. There are no rights for us, and it's just an yeah, outrage. We're all of the same religion. I think this law is okay. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's kind of ridiculous. You begin to see them organize their thoughts, mm -hmm. and history becomes something that's not dead. What we're going to do now is just a taste of a bigger activity that you could try um, to adapt for your students. We're going to ask you to caption one or two images. You're going to use direct quotes from the text documents as your caption. Throughout a, a day spent with teachers, they will have opportunities to work with primary documents, that one will be good. to undertake activities that model the kind of activities they would do with students in decoding primary documents and developing historical thinking and analysis skills. Our quote was, the CCC shaped my life, which had no direction. They and really value the chance to talk to other teachers and work with other teachers and learn from other teachers. Can we, we come in, we look forward to seeing each other. We look forward to brainstorming with each other because most of the times in schools and even in departmental, we don't get a chance to really share what we're doing. It's a mind opening it is. experience. It and really that's, is. It's so valuable. Teachers leave at the end of the day with a number of resources that they can use in their classrooms. My student population needed those definitions. Yeah on the side. They may not need to know the definition in order to understand the document, but without it, they give up. And I also like the organizer questions because it helps them break down the thought process. They need a framework in which to attack 
these letters. This program has been really gratifying because of the change we see in teachers. We can see a change in the kinds of conversations and questions teachers have when they're at our seminars. The historic context or framework is so important. And we can hear a change when they tell us about what they're doing with their students and how engaged their students were by certain materials that they got from one of our seminars. My time here has helped me to remember why I wanted to teach social studies in the first place and, and to get kids excited about looking at the whole story, um, all of the players.